Let's be quite honest, traveling to Mars isn't going to be easy. There's a reason why humans have never explored the red planet, while only a few lucky and expensive landers have. The trip to and from Mars is long, dangerous, and more challenging than any space mission humans have ever undertaken so far. There are plenty of challenges lurking in the deep reaches of space that make a journey to Mars oh so difficult. For one, humans just aren't used to being in space for so long. A round-trip mission to Mars would last an astonishing 21 months. Nine months to get there, three months on the planet, and another nine to get back. Every single second spent traveling to Mars can be easily translated into energy, fuel, and money. It will cost thousands of dollars a second just to get to the red planet. When you think of it that way, and when you think of the damage that all that time in space can do to a human body, you understand the fear and hesitation some have when thinking of traveling to other planets. But what if there were a faster way to get there? What if a trip to Mars didn't have to take a whopping 21 months? What if all that time and money could be saved by a much shorter and safer voyage? There are a growing number of scientists who think getting to Mars much faster is quite possible. Instead of 21 months, why not get to Mars in only three days? If these methods of space travel turn out to be effective, it's going to completely change the way we think about living on Mars. Ever since the height of the space race, chemical rockets have been the most commonly used propulsion method. In many ways, SpaceX and their rockets, especially the Starship, look a lot like the old Saturn rockets that Americans took pride in during the early days of NASA. But SpaceX tech is far beyond anything NASA ever created, which will not only save time, but also make the long voyage much more comfortable. SpaceX is currently hard at work on their next-generation Raptor engines, which will power the Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy rocket. They're known for the ridiculous amount of power they produce, but the truly game-changing aspect is their reusability. Like many engines before it, the Raptor burns chemical fuel to produce thrust. However, its use of liquid oxygen and methane is different from nearly every other engine in the space travel field. No other rocket engine is capable of producing as much energy out of liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The Raptor engine, and the Raptor 2 that's now being developed, is a key piece of SpaceX's future. It has a radical amount of power, cultivated in ways that haven't been used before. With the science and reusability factor, the Raptor engine is what space engineers have always dreamed of, but have never been capable of achieving before now. It will save money, it will save energy, and it will help massive vessels like like the Starship transcend our atmosphere and head straight for Mars. But there is still one problem with this sort of propulsion method. A trip to Mars will take roughly nine months in each direction. So even though the technology SpaceX and other private companies are creating is far superior to that of the past, scientists and engineers are looking for ways to travel between the planets at a much greater speed. This is where a nuclear-powered rocket has a chance to truly transform space travel as we know it. A nuclear-powered reactor on a rocket would generate heat from uranium fuel. That thermal energy would heat up a liquid propellant, typically liquid hydrogen, which will expand into gas and shoot out the back of the rocket. You can just imagine the sort of thrust a nuclear-powered rocket would produce. Scientists predict that a rocket like this would produce twice the thrust per unit of propellant than the current chemical system. That means that an average Martian one-way trip would only take roughly 90 days. But some people are afraid of this approach to space travel. Thanks to the Chernobyl disaster and other past nuclear events in history, it's no surprise that nuclear energy has a bad reputation. 
However, it's actually a very safe method, and there are particular safeguards in place to prevent any sort of radiation leakages or exposure. And for an even extra layer of safety, any nuclear-powered ship would actually rely on an old-fashioned chemical rocket to get out of our atmosphere. It would only be once the ship left the Earth that it would start using its nuclear power. But what if you need to get to Mars even faster than that? If that's the case, using ion engines may be the next best option. Many scientists are investing heavily into researching these ion engines to see just how powerful these futuristic creations can be. Unlike chemical rockets, ion engines would accelerate electrically charged atoms, known as ions, through an electric field. This would propel a rocket ship forward in an incredible manner. However, an ion engine really finds its potential once it reaches space. Once out of the Earth's atmosphere, the charged ions will be giving the rocket a continuous push. It's been compared to the wind pushing a sailboat. This manner of propellant would get the rocket ship moving far faster than a typical chemical rocket. Spacecraft powered by these ion thrusters can reach speeds of up to 200,000 miles per hour. That's 90,000 meters per second. In comparison, the world-famous American space shuttles could only reach speeds of around 18,000 miles per hour. The trade-off for these high top speeds of ion thrusters is slow acceleration, which is why this method might be perfect for trips across our solar system. Based on the science behind the revolutionary ion engine, you can plan on it taking only 39 days to get to the red planet. Now, let's take a look at the most futuristic and exciting method of space travel that could get us to Mars as fast as possible. A photonic propulsion system would be able to power a rocket in remarkable, jaw-dropping ways. This one-of-a-kind rocket would rely on the momentum of particles of light, known as photons, to move the ship forward. It sounds far-fetched, and it is. There's still so much work to be done in this field. But the idea has been in development by numerous scientists for years now. If they're able to crack the code of photonic propulsion, we could find ourselves arriving on Martian soil in not months, but days. Particles of light don't have any mass. However, photons do have both energy and momentum. And when they reflect off an object, that momentum is transferred into forward motion. By harnessing the power of photons, an entire rocket ship could blast through the galaxy at breakneck speeds. Right now, it's predicted that photonic propulsion could get a small robotic craft to Mars in just three days. There's no doubt that photonic propulsion could be a literal game-changer. Not only could it make exploration so much faster, but it could also allow humans to travel to Mars and far beyond as well. All of these new, promising methods of travel could radically change how we traverse the galaxy. If we are truly able to limit the amount of time it takes for us to get to Mars and other planets, then a new golden age of space travel awaits. What are your thoughts on these futuristic methods of space travel? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting content.